Hello friends, welcome to MySQL video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to select a specific row or rows from a table. To select a specific row or rows from a table, we take help of select command and where clause. Remember that where clause allows us to specify search criteria and search criteria must be a boolean expression. It must be evaluated to true or false guys. Basic syntax for selecting a specific row or rows from a table is we write select star from table name where search criteria semicolon guys. For example, select star from tbl underscore faculty where id equal to 1 semicolon. What this statement does? It returns every record from tbl underscore faculty table whose id column value equal to 1 guys. Select star from tbl underscore faculty where name equal to Rajesh semicolon. What this statement does? It returns every row from tbl underscore faculty table whose name column value equal to Rajesh guys. Let's go to MySQL console and understand how do we select a specific row or rows from a table. I say here show databases semicolon. We know that show databases command displays list of databases currently available inside MySQL server. I hit enter. You can see that it has displayed list of databases currently available inside MySQL server. Now I want to create the database for city college. How do we create a database guys? We say create database. Then we write the database name. I see here db underscore city underscore college semicolon hit enter. You can see that query is executed successfully. Let's check out whether db underscore city underscore college database is created or not. I say here show databases semicolon. I hit enter. You can see that db underscore city underscore college database is created inside MySQL server. Now I want to create tbl underscore faculty table inside db underscore city underscore college database. To do that first I should select the database. And how do we select a database guys? We say use then we write the database name which we want to select. I say here db underscore city underscore college semicolon hit enter. You can see that database change is displayed. That means currently selected database is db underscore city underscore college guys. I say here show tables semicolon. We know that show tables command displays list of tables available in the currently selected database. I hit enter. It is telling empty set. That means there are no tables available inside db underscore city underscore college database guys. Let's create tbl underscore faculty table. How do we create a table? We say create table. Then we write the table name. I say here tbl underscore faculty. We write opening bracket hit enter. Then we write list of column definitions separated by comma. Faculties are going to have id. So the first column name will be id. Data type I say int. In pair of parentheses I write size 11. Int of 11 indicates id column can store whole numbers containing up to 11 digits. I say comma hit enter. Faculties are going to have name. So I say here name. Data type I say work care. Size I mentioned 25. Work of 25 indicates name column can store strings containing up to 25 characters. I say comma, hit enter. Faculties are going to have salary. I say here salary. Data type I say int, size I mentioned 11. Bracket close, semicolon, hit enter. You can see that query is executed successfully. Let's check out whether tbl underscore faculty table is created or not. I say here show tables, semicolon, hit enter. You can see that tbl underscore faculty table is created inside db underscore city underscore college database. Now I want to insert some records inside tbl underscore faculty table. How do we insert a record in a table guys? We take help of insert into command. I say here insert into. Then we write the table name tbl underscore faculty. In between pair of parentheses we write list of column names. I say here id comma name comma salary. Then we say space values. In between pair of parentheses, we write list of values to be inserted. I say here 1 comma 
in between pair of single quotations i say ramesh comma 1000 semicolon hit enter you can see that query is executed successfully that means one record is inserted inside tbl underscore faculty table let's insert one more record i say here faculty id to faculty name rajesh faculty salary 2000 hit enter one more record is inserted let me insert one more record i say here faculty id 3 faculty name rupesh faculty salary 3000 hit enter one more record is inserted let me insert one more record faculty id 4 faculty name suresh faculty salary 3000 hit enter one more record is inserted inside tbl underscore faculty table that's how you can insert n number of records in a table guys now i want to display all the data in tbl underscore faculty table how do we display all the data in a table guys we say select star from tbl underscore faculty semicolon what this statement does it returns all faculties available inside tbl underscore faculty table I hit enter. You can see that it has displayed all faculties currently available inside TBL underscore faculty table guys. Now I want to display the details of the faculty whose ID is 1. To do that we say select star from TBL underscore faculty. We write where then we write the search criteria. I see here ID equal to 1 semicolon. I hit enter. You can see that it has displayed the faculty details whose ID is equal to 1. It has returned a row whose ID value is equal to 1 guys. Now I want to display the faculty details whose name is Rupesh. To do that we simply say select star from tbl underscore faculty where name equal to while working with strings, we must and should put the value in between pair of single quotations guys. I say here, Rupesh, semicolon. I hit enter. You can see that it has displayed faculty details whose name is Rupesh. So that is how you select a specific row from a table guys. Now I want to display details of faculties who are getting the salary 3000 guys. So how do we write the query? We say select star from tbl underscore faculty where salary equal to 3000. What this statement does? It displays every faculty from tbl underscore faculty who is getting salary 3000 guys. Whose salary is equal to 3000. I hit enter. You can see that it is telling Rupesh and Suresh are getting salary 3000. So that is how you select a specific row or rows from a table guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood how to select a specific row or rows from a table using select command and where class. Now I want to delete the database db underscore ct underscore college. To delete a database we say drop database. Then we write the database name. I see here db underscore city underscore college semicolon. I hit enter. Query is executed. Let's check out whether db underscore city underscore college database is deleted or not. I see here show databases semicolon. Hit enter. You can see that there is no db underscore city underscore college database available inside MySQL server. I want to exit from MySQL console. I see here exit semicolon. Hit enter. You can see that MySQL console is closed. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. Try to remember all the commands that I teach in this video tutorials series. Practice them as much as possible. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss the different ways of writing search criteria for making more and more specific selection guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.